Uh, Monday night, the Rams headed to the 49ers, and the Niners are a four-point underdog at home. The 49ers, however, are 4-1 and one straight up in their last five against the Rams. I think the Rams were embarrassed last week by the Titans, and, and I think that the 49ers are not a very good football team. I want them to be better, uh, but it does not appear that they are going to come out of whatever this is that they are. You look at overall metrics, yeah, the 49ers are number nine in total DVOA, and that's, that's pretty damn good. Their offense is actually number six in DVOA, but you're going against the Rams defense, which is number four, and then you've got the Rams offense, which is number two in DVOA against San Francisco, number 17 in defensive DVOA. I thought that the defense was going to be able to to snap out of what they were last year when they had all the injuries, etc. They still got some injuries this season, but they have not been good on defense. They just haven't. And and while normally 49ers at home, I would think would be a really good bet in this spot, especially over a field goal, man, I think the Rams are going to put it on them this week. Like I think the Rams are going to be fantastic. So I'm I'm taking Los Angeles minus 4 uh with Matt Stafford and, and that bunch bouncing back. I think you're right. I think you're right. I have had I've had long discussions with people that I'm close to, and I value their opinion about Kyle Shanahan might not be in the guy. And you know how you know how hard that is to hurt, right? Yeah, I mean, um, you've been all in on him. So here's here's my here's my thought process. I'm here's where I'm at. Okay, I, I'm no longer standing on the corner screaming at them as they tell me how terrible he is. Okay. But my, I, I'm not out on him and I'm not bashing him by any means, but I'm not stopping others from doing it. All right. I'm, I'm not partaking, but I'm not defending right now. There's a, there's a world where this 49ers thing just doesn't work and I can't explain it. And I know that they've never had a fully healthy roster and all this stuff. Listen, they gave up three first round picks for a guy who none of these rookie quarterbacks, to be honest, are playing very good right now. Okay, Agreed. And there's a world where none of them are very good in the NFL. That happens all the time. All right, That's not a surprise to anybody. But nobody else fit three first-round picks. Yeah, you, uh, you were not wrong. You are not wrong. This was supposed to be the guy that was going to replace Jimmy Garoppolo, and Garoppolo hadn't been that bad this year. So... Why not take another guy that might be able to help you somewhere else on the field, rather than waste three first round picks? Like I, I don't understand it. But alas, I mean, it looks like it looks like the Rams are the better uh, better bet this week. My line on it was actually Rams minus seven, which is why I'm rolling that way. So I'm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe they can get out of this funk, but they have not been very good this year. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.